Hello everybody, it is Badge Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers video, this time reviewing something that we have all been waiting for that has been delayed, and uh, gotta say that delay was justified. This is the new automations update, all the blocks that you're seeing behind me, and uh, we're gonna go through here and take a look at what we now have in Space Engineers, what you can expect if you buy, if you do like me, if you buy the DLC and you get everything, this is all the stuff you're going to get, plus all the free stuff. So, the one thing I will stress about this update, and this is something that Keen has been doing and that a lot of different groups, different companies could learn to do, Activision! <clears throat> anyway, uh, and that is, anything that is necessary for gameplay, in other words, that elevates your gameplay, Keen releases for free. So a lot of these blocks, if you see something here that is going to provide a new mechanic or a new game player, you think, oh, that would give me an advantage. You're going to get that for free with this. Anything that is cosmetic, uh, you're going to have to pay for. So only the cosmetic stuff is, is what you're going to pay for, but you're going to get everything you need to beat the other guys. So you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. By the way, let's begin, shall we? So I'm going to pull up my welder so we can see what we're dealing with. And this is the, the bread and butter of the entire... Uh, deal this is the entire updates bread and butter this is what you are getting for free uh one of the blocks you're getting for free and that is the automations blocks and the automation blocks are oh oh just oh they're amazing chef's kiss y'all probably saw some stuff i was putting up over it uh i've played around with this i created all kinds of things i created drones that followed drones that went and attacked uh created a drone that traded missiles with this you can create missiles that were very effective, I have to say. And um, <clears throat> the reason we're starting with this is because this is the big point of the, the update. It is the automations update. And as you can see here, we've got all these different automations. This is the primary block you'll be using with this. I don't know why I have my bullet torch out. I believe, uh, I can't remember, what is this called? Let me see here. That's why I had the torch out. This is the AI flight move. It basically determines how your ship is going to move, determines your flight path and everything else. This is a key block that you have to have, and then you start putting in these other blocks, which is AI recorder task, which can have the AI do a specific task. It'll run on a specific circuit, uh, whatever you've recording, similar to the replay tool, uh, except this will repeat it without having to reset your game all the time. The other one you have here is the basic AI task. This enables you to put whatever kind of task you want this thing to do. Uh, there's a lot of options with this. Uh, just, just with these five blocks here, you can do so much. This is the AI offensive combat. This tells your drone. Uh, it can turn your drone into a missile. It can uh, enable your drone to fight in different... It, it determines the tactics and everything else that are utilized. This is the AI defensive combat, which instead of offensive, we have defensive tactics and things you can add to your AI. Just gives you the ability to flesh out what your drones can do. You can now have drones doing a lot of things. You can have, I believe in one of the videos, they had a group of drones following each other in a train. The first one was following the player at a certain distance, and then the rest of them, the drones, were following at a set distance as they were just snaking through the mountains which is a really cool option here. But heading over here, we're going to be checking out the small ship blocks. Mind you, all the blocks that you're seeing here are small ship, except for these detail blocks that we're going to be dealing with. But these are all small ship stuff. And this is a brand new block y'all probably never seen before. Uh, before y'all freak out, yeah, this is being chilled to me as the light armor block. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, this is the, if I recall correctly, a small connector now. It's not an ejector. What we've done is Keen has taken the small ejector port and redesignated it as the small connector. So now it can magnetically lock onto ships. So now small ship hydrogen missiles in space are a thing while doing this. You have the ability to launch these things out in space. You need to be able to fill that hydrogen tank up. And that hasn't been doable except with a large, those big three by three connectors. Well, now you got this small one. Right here, we've got a connector in cap. You're gonna see our conveyor cap. You're gonna see that over there. This doesn't do anything. It just blocks off that nasty-looking conveyor. If you put uh, a conveyor junction block in there, you know the six-sided conveyor junction block that you connect into, and one side's pointing inside your ship, you can just cover it with this and just have a nice detail block covering it up. Another thing that's here. This is also in large block configuration. This is the top-mounted camera. So instead of mounting a camera like on the face of your block, 
you can now slap a camera right on top of it. And it is very, very small. Instead of it being on a flat surface where it's easy to hit, you now have it on top, which makes it a little bit harder to snag and take out. Continuing on, we've also got this inset light block. This is an interior block similar to your interior floors, your interior uh, blocks and stuff that provides a light source. So you don't have to waste an area putting a light in. You can just slap this block in and there you go. We also have a Pipeworks A and Pipeworks B. That's just decorative blocks right here to help you out. And we have slanted interior or angled interior wall A and B. This one has some reinforcing struts on it. This one here does not. So you got some nice... This uh, this stuff here will be DLC content. You will have to buy it. I don't know if this is two. You may have to buy this. You may not. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But continuing on, we're going to go into the newest edition, which is the Willis Ducks. Now, <clears throat> if you ever know what Jeffrey's Tubes is in Star Trek, this is what these are. We're going to hop down in here and we're going to just sneak in. And these have all kinds of different variations. You have four-way stops. You have corners, T-junctions. Oh, we also have this guy here. Hope you guys aren't arachnophobic, but this is the Saberoid plushie, which is going to be brought in with the new... Um, <clears throat> in the last update, we got a Engineer plushie. Now we get a Saberoid plushie, and you can find these inside of... I think they're random drops that happen in space or on the ground. So you have a chance of getting a plushie now. So you can get a Saberoid if you really want one. These things also come with a cap that goes over it. These They have their own little cap. You have a grate that you can look out of, see through, pretend you're Solid Snake for a little bit, wandering on through the, you know, sneaking through vents. you got pipe ports. These do not, unfortunately, unfortunately... These do not provide a piping system. I, I wish Keen would just replace their conveyor systems entirely with these somehow. <laughs> and uh, the, I, I, would, I would be happy because this would give players the ability to work on their ships and fix their conveyors just by going into them. Some of these are lit. You've got ramps. You can see right now we're going up and down. You enter into these things by hitting the crouch button and you go along in there. So yeah, you can go on in here. You can have all these little crouch areas and stuff go in. It will be fun to see players do with the water mod, uh, with the water level going up. You have to go down inside these ducts here and get to uh, different areas with different water levels. But you can actually have these things go pretty dang deep, I would, I would figure. By the way, popping out here... We have more stuff, and this is some new stuff that is going to be introduced. Some of this is just... They, these these two here, I believe, are automation programmable blocks. Uh, they are a better version of the programmable block. The programmable block before looked like a retro 80s or 70s style computer. This looks more like a high-tech programmable block, and it also gives you a bit of room. You can now increase your programmable block. So if you have server rooms now... You can actually create uh, small server rooms and stuff like that with areas that you can get in and move around, add a couple of lockers in here to help you out. And you can create just a big server room with about four of these and then have a doorway going in and have just a couple lockers or whatnot to give you everything you need to work with. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Awesome stuff. We also, oh yeah, that little alert right there, that's the new sensor. That is a DLC thing. You'll have to buy it. This uh, here is the automation timer block. Uh, it's basically a timer block. This is a DLC content as well. This is not. This is the emotion controller, and I have yet to screw with this thing. So I'm. all I can tell you is I know that this particular block uses emoticons that can copy other assigned LCDs. LCD panels in screen. So this is something where if you walk in, you can push a button and it'll say something different. You can add different stuff similar to the um, automations thing or the event controller. By doing that, this can create different emotions. You can have a robot that says different things or a computer screen that when you walk in, it'll give hearts like, oh, hey, master is home. You can call it Friday and pretend you're Tony Stark. Uh, have not, like I said, haven't messed with this yet. I don't couldn't tell you how it works because I brand new update. I've been screwing with the other stuff on here. Couldn't tell you how it all works or anything. But we're going in here. We also have the new thing, which is the signs. We now have warning signs that are just awesome that can help you with your entire base and give you some awesome stuff you can put in. As you can see, we've got hazardous environments, 
as seen notice. Unfortunately, I do not think you can change this, so we are zero days without a clang incident. So, yeah, can't fix that. Can't make it do anything else. Sensor is, is letting us know that we're here. Let's go over here and look at some other stuff. We've got these new armor blocks also, which are these half armor blocks or middle centered armor blocks, I guess you could call them. And this is just because there were some armor blocks that come down in a slight slant but ended in the middle of where a block would be. So now we have these middle armor panels that can be attached to those slopes to just create some unique more shapes and whatever y'all want to put in. We also have these panels. Now these panels here also go on to, and these are, these are like animated door panels. Uh, this is just an access panel here. We also have these two caps that go on to, one goes on the pipes, one goes on to your conveyors. But these here are kind of interesting because they're decorative but also somewhat functional. You see, I can open this up and I've got a control panel inside here, a keypad that I can uh, manipulate and mess with things. Uh, we've also got this here. If you open it up, it's got some uh, electronics and stuff in here. I don't know what you would attach this to. Uh, this one here is pretty cool. You have a button. This can be put inside your base for like an emergency button. You just go over, hit this panel right here, open that up and hit the panel. And I guess you could also deny access to this door. This one here is rather interesting because it is a panel that you can put on there, a door panel, and you can put this over your cargo container and use it to close up access to your cargo container so you don't have access just sitting there. You just open a door and just go to town. Now there are two more, I believe. I just realized we had two more blocks that we haven't seen yet. And these have to be looked at because this is something new. I just realized that these were, were gone. So we're all familiar with the good old fashioned air vent. Now we have something new. We have an animated air vent. If you look there, you can see it spinning. We also have a full block version of that. And should be here somewhere. There it is. A full block version of the air vent, which mind you has five of its six sides open. So now you don't have to put a half block into your ship. You can just replace one of your conveyors with a vent block now. And that will save your ship a whole lot of room. Space Engineer seems to be going in a direction where players want it to go. It's not... Keen is not that company, and this is what I love about Keen. They are not the company that goes out and says, Oh, uh, we're going to make this screw any ideas that you really want. They're a company that says, Hey... We understand that you're wanting something. What would it take to make the game better? And players come out and say, look, we would like an air vent that is just a block, not a cap or something, a panel that you have to put over there. And so Keen said, yeah, you know, that'd be great. A, a conveyor tube that is actually also doubles as an air vent. So we got that and they gave us an animated version of this. This just looks so cool. <laughs> but now no more needing to put like conveyor vents or stuff anywhere. You can actually slap one of these things right wherever you need them to go, uh, put them in the roof, put them in the wall, and just have it sitting there just providing air to you the entire time. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, that's the new automations update. All the stuff that you're now getting with it. It is... This is going to be the one update I think that's going to really change Space Engineers a lot because there's been a lot of work put into it. I'm going to have to see how the new AI blocks work as I screw around with them. Uh, oh, wait, that's right. There is one more thing I forgot about. There is one more thing I forgot. I almost forgot about this. I was fixing to set up there, and I completely forgot. There is also these bad boys. And I'm pretty sure I could get Bronzy to come on now. And Chris. Oops, not that. If I offer them a speeder bike. <laughs> So we have these here. I completely, I, I totally forgot about these things. I can't believe I did. So we've got the electrical version and what I'm going to call the pipe version. This version here is a two by two and they are basically motorcycle seats. As you can see here, we now have bikes. So Space Engineers has motorcycle seats now. Oh, damn. I'm just forgetting stuff. I can't believe I'm forgetting stuff because I also forgot that we have this nonsense too we have the new let me go on in here 
totally unprepared, guys. Totally unprepared and unprofessional. So we have our original and I know completely unprofessional y'all. Completely unprofessional here, not having my crap together. Hopefully they don't fall off. Okay, there we go. I, I completely forgot about these. So we have these new uh, bike blocks, which you can make four-wheelers and motorcycles and with and everything. I know these are going to be fun to play with. But also we've now been given access to a brand new tire, which is the 2x2 two two tire. We have the 1x1, one one, the 3x3, three three, the 5x5, five five, and now we have the 2x2. Two two. So very, very cool. Uh, we've also got these blocks, like I said, these motorcycle blocks. You're going to be able to create motorcycle cockpits, uh, speeder bikes, all that good stuff. So, that, yeah, like I said, I, I passed my unprofessional moment here. Uh, you can mess around. I've done played with this already. Uh, you can build really good bikes. Um, for those of you wondering, if you've ever seen, what is the show? Halo Legends, I believe. The Halo Legends anime. There's the last anime that they do master chief and i believe spartan blue team charge into the covenants with a whole bunch of these weird looking railgun mounted hover bikes uh we can we can build those now <laughs> it's like these combat attack space bikes uh we can add those now we we can build it <laughs> we can we can do this now so yeah you can build some of those you can also put some uh the new two by two tires which will give you a car that looks a rover that will not look like a monster truck all the time. Uh, this has been a problem with a couple of the builds we've all tried to build. They just, they look gargantuan when you get done with them and they're not very... It also, probably bringing the build down a bit would also give you the ability to create more stable builds um, in a 2 by 2 fashion. Before we had these little wheels here which are good for a few things but not good for others also this two by two wheel system here you can probably combine it with one of the other wheels and make some really good actual tank looking tanks and give them enough ride height that they wouldn't be too much of a problem but anyway yeah back to me saying uh, i'm pretty much done talking about this uh, i think i've got everything figured out but yeah this is the automations update this is just all of the really cool stuff that you get with the automations update uh you are getting the two by two tires and the cockpits those are something you will get for free if you have space engineers they're not uh dlc stuff if you also have i believe the wasteland dlc you'll get the dlc tire or wheel version of the two by two as well that's a that's a a cosmetic thing you just don't have to pay for so you'll get that for free as well if you've already bought the Wasteland DLC. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this new automations update impressive on this Monday. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're going to get. Can't wait to see the builds that y'all make with it. And uh, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. I got some experimentation to do and some new games to play. Uh, I, in other words, I'm probably going to restart a couple of survival modes on Space Engineers. Also, to those of you that are wondering, there is also a poll going up for the next couple weeks. I am deciding how we're going to do the next Survival Under Fire series. This one I plan on, on getting through, have a clear-cut goal. We are still going to be coming under attack by the frickin' drones. Or the frickin' robot raiders are still going to be attacking us relentlessly. But we are probably, according to the poll right now, we're going to be doing this on Partan this time around. So, no flying. We're going to have to use rovers most of the time because, well, flight systems don't work too well in Partan. But anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. And I will see you guys next time.